Coming up on tonight's edition of Size Eyes. We had a beautiful day across the entire area today, but there's some showers on the way. I'll tell you when we might be impacted by those later on. Plus, Brandon Libby will be in later with your national forecast. Size Eyes on the Skies starts right now. It's Monday night on ISU-TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU-TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. And welcome to Size Eyes. We're joined by Jarrett Lansford. Um, Jarrett, I guess it, it rained last night, but uh, I don't know what's going on with the weather this week. Well, we had a great rain last night, and uh, even though we got a good amount of rain, we are still over an inch and a half behind from average and so we have another chance later on in the week as we take a look at the day planner uh, we have none tomorrow though it will be sunny throughout the day tomorrow a little bit of a cool start will be nearing freezing tonight not too freezing but in the mid 30s but we'll have a quick recovery into the 60s by noon and well into the 70s by afternoon so a nice, beautiful day again tomorrow. All right, thank you, Jarrett. We'll uh, get more from you later. Meanwhile, Brandon is over on the wall with your national forecast. Yeah, we had a mild day across a lot of the country. We'll have all your details coming up. Welcome back. Let's head over to Brandon now for your national forecast. Thanks, Sam. Let's take a peek at the temperatures across the nation right now. We're seeing mild temperatures for a lot of the country. 62 in New York, 69 in Atlanta. The coldest on this, on this map right here is 47 in Seattle. So it's a very nice day right now. And as we go ahead and take a look at the northeast here, still very warm conditions for Syracuse, 74 and 77 in Pittsburgh, even though they have those cloudy skies. And as we move down to the south, very warm conditions, 79 in Miami, 71 in Orlando, 78 in New Orleans. Out to the west, we're, we, we have that desert heat going on here, 89 in Las Vegas, very sunny skies right now, 60s for parts of the west coast. And as we look up to the north, 47 in Seattle, as I said earlier, 45 in Salem. They've got that cloud cover keeping them cooler. And for back to the central part of the state where we had that cold front move through last night, it wasn't really a strong cold front, so our temperatures are still pretty nice right now. 63 in Des Moines and 61 in Kansas City. And as we take a look at the bigger picture for our highs today, we saw very warm conditions down in Miami with 86. Uh, pretty good heat for a lot of the East Coast, 65 in New York, 75 in Atlanta. And of course, as that cold front moves through, you see that we had the temperatures in the 60s. And that cold front illuminates well on the uh, clouds and radars here. You see those uh, that rain band stretching where that cold front is out ahead of it and behind it a nice area of high pressure and we've got some several low pressure systems impacting the south here. One you can see it swirling here bringing showers and thunderstorms for parts of the south and as we continue to look at the watches and warnings it's creating some flood issues for a lot of the parts here. You see the stark green is flood, uh, flood warnings and we've got a, currently a severe thunderstorm watch down in Texas where another low pressure system is hanging out. Really not too much going on. There was some severe thunderstorm warnings earlier but those have seemed to expire for the meantime. And we've also got some extreme fire danger weather up to the north and the central plains area with that um, dry conditions and warm weather. So as we take a look at our forecast here, we're going to see this band of rain continue to move off to the east. You still see that well-defined cold front, and that will bring some showers and thunderstorms to parts of the uh, Kentucky and Tennessee here. And as we move that out, another system will begin to move into parts of Atlanta, and as well as off to the east coast with snow in parts of Wyoming and Montana. And so that will be impacting their area today, or tomorrow, excuse me. Highs 
Highs tomorrow will get up to mainly the same as they were today. It might be a little cooler up in the Montana area with 50 in Billings and 57 in Seattle, but otherwise very pleasant conditions. We're seeing 78 in Dallas tomorrow and 84 in Phoenix. Our pick city for you this week is Atlanta, Georgia, where they are seeing quite the rainy forecast. We're going to look at temperatures in the 60s as we go on through the week. 75 on Saturday, but they've got rain chances for most of the week with a 40% chance of sh showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. And their relief won't come anytime soon, guys. All right. Uh, thank you, Brandon. Uh, time now for tonight's trivia question. What member of Size Eyes is celebrating his or her birthday today? Is it A, me, B, you, C, him, or D, the other him? <laughs> well, uh, we'll have the answer to that in a little bit, but uh, first Jared's here with a look at your Iowa forecast. I'm really curious to hear the answer to that question. We had some beautiful conditions across Iowa today. We'll see if that continues tomorrow after the break. Welcome back. We saw a beautiful day Tuesday. I hope you all had a chance to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. But uh, we might see that possibly disappearing as we head into Wednesday and Thursday with a chance of some showers. Not a great chance, but there is a chance. But we'll return to the beautiful conditions by the weekend where we'll see a warm up. Currently 62 degrees with sunny skies, very dry, comfortable air, a little bit of a wind out of the northwest, but nothing too uh, uncomfortable for us there. Looking across the state, you'll see the lower 60s all across Iowa. 66 there in Sioux City is the warmest temperature you'll see with all oh, 62 comfortable conditions in Ames right now. Winds out of the west or northwest at a 5 to 15 range, very comfortable, feels nice on the skin. Uh, but you see there's some clouds just sitting right to our south. They haven't made their way into our area, which has kept us under those bright blue skies that we've seen all day. Des Moines has seen some clouds today, but we haven't had any of those here in Ames. There's some systems here across the north and that cold front that brought the rain to us last night, as Brandon mentioned, has moved out of here. We have that high pressure in place, keeping us onto the clear skies through the night. That's going to cause us to drop well into the 30s. And the clear skies will stick around all day tomorrow, bringing us back into around 70 degrees. They'll start, the clouds will start to move in overnight, tomorrow night and they'll slowly edge in and there's a chance that they might bring some raindrops to us on Wednesday. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. It won't be anything severe though. Tonight, 30s all across Iowa, 37 in Davenport, 37 in Ottumwa, and 41 in Council Bluffs. It'll be a cool night. You might want to keep your windows closed tonight, but you'll open them right back up tomorrow for the lower 70s. Beautiful day. And when you get to around 5, 6 o'clock, that evening jog is going to feel wonderful. Well, tonight, again, 37 degrees. It'll be clear. You'll be able to see all the stars, but it won't be very warm out there. So be prepared if you're going to go stargazing. No rain tomorrow. We'll have a top 10 day. Beautiful conditions. South winds 5 to 10. Make sure you are able to get out and enjoy those uh, sunny skies. Wednesday and Thursday, we may see some raindrops. Nothing that's going to be too troublesome. Again, popping up on Sunday, but upper 60s and 70s through the entire period. All right. Thank you, Jarrett. Let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. What member of Size Eyes is celebrating his or her birthday today? Is it A, me, B, you, him, whoever that is, or D, whoever the other him is? Well, and the answer is, it's me. Happy birthday, Zane. We'd all at Size Eyes like to wish Zane a happy birthday. <laughs> yes, we would. And it reminds me of this puzzle I was doing the other day. And it just had this big bubble. And it said, happy birthday on it. And I was actually going to give it to you for a birthday present, but I left it at my apartment. So <laughs> that would have been nice. That's a nice birthday. Not good. Yeah. Good. We're thinking of Zane here. <laughs> yes. Have you got any plans for your birthday? 
No, doing homework. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a fun, right. fun birthday. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great time. Well, at least yeah. it'll be warm tomorrow. Maybe yeah. get to out, out suppose, and celebrate. I suppose that's a good thing to look forward to. It's something. Yep, yep. Well, that's all for uh, tonight's edition of Size Eyes. We'll be back again on Wednesday night. We hope you join us then. Have a good night.